It's been a pretty tough kind of four weeks um, since closing the gym on the Gold Coast. Vakey here. Hey, I'm a weekly vlogger. I put videos out every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Although this video I'm cutting very fine. I hopefully will get it out before midnight on Monday. Although I'm in New Zealand, so anywhere else in the world that won't be. Birds are noisy here. The birds are noisy here. Uh, everywhere else in the world is behind us, so I should be okay. Anyway, I've been wanting to shoot this video for a long Wow! Get, get going. I've been wanting to shoot this video for a long time and um, I've been thinking about it and I was going to shoot it like the same week that we closed the gym down I was going to do like a little video at the gym as I was packing it up but it just didn't feel like right timing and I thought I'm in New Zealand I'm at Raglan which is a pretty special place to me because it's literally here on this jetty that I uh, thought about and made the decision to leave the corporate gym model and to start my own gym my very first cross the gym in Auckland and it's extremely windy so I really hope you can hear me but yeah, this very spot is where my life changed, is where I kind of stepped into the business world and uh, took the plunge as a young guy and started my own gym. And so it's been a pretty tough kind of four weeks um, since closing the gym on the Gold Coast, um, mainly because our business is so community focused, it's so relational. And so closing down the gym for me meant that my fitness family on the Gold Coast, in a sense, was broken up. You know, I'm gonna have those relationships forever um, but still it was sad to see kind of the family disperse and now having to find kind of new place to train and I don't know it's just it's just sucky and sad it's just sucky and sad I've never had to close something up I've never had to finish something that I've started and so it has been um, it has been really hard but at the same time I've literally freed up 20 to 30 hours of my week which I'm now able to spend with my family and other things that I'm really passionate about. So yeah, it's been a weird mix of feelings. But I really want to make a video about why we closed the gym and what I've learned, more so for my own sake as, a, I guess, a bit of therapy um, more than anything else. The first thing I wanted to say is that the gym didn't grow as fast as I would have liked or was as successful as I would have liked, not because of the Gold Coast or the fact that the Gold Coast is a transient place. I hear that all the time. There are plenty of gyms and CrossFit gyms on the Gold Coast that have been around for years and doing really well. So it's not the Gold Coast's fault. Uh, it is not the fact that our, it's not the location of the building or the size of the building. It was in a great spot in an awesome area. Um, it is not that we were charging too much, we were too expensive. There were members who were paying this for over two years and um, I know there were, other members, there were other people around the area that would have been happy to pay it. It is purely because I didn't put the work in that was needed uh, to see it grow to the place or at the speed that I wanted to see it grow. And so I kind of found myself in this place where I knew this gym had immense potential and could get to a great place if I really committed myself and put lots of hard work and hours in for another 12 to 24 months. And I had to decide whether I was willing to put that work in and whether I was willing to sacrifice some of the things that were kind of asking for my attention and um, some of the passions that have been pulling at my heart. And the answer was no, I wasn't prepared to put another year or two of hard work and no return in um, and sacrifice the things that were um, also important to me. And so it did feel good in a sense to kind of close the gym on our terms. You know, we didn't need to close it. It was looking after itself. We could have kept going and, and try to make it work. But um, it was nice to at least be able to do it on our terms. Here's the thing, I'm just a young, unwise entrepreneur just trying to, uh, to make it in this world and just taking on too much, doing too many things. Running the gym in Auckland, running the gym on the Gold Coast, running an online programming business, doing private mentoring for other, other gyms, trying to become a videographer, trying to be a family man. I was just too thinly spread. And I guess the businesses and the things in my life that were already well established, they kind of survived uh, under the split attention because they were already well established. They weren't baby businesses. So my family was okay because you know it was well established. My business in Auckland was okay because it was well established. So those things kind of survived, but the, the business that suffered the most was our baby business, the baby on the Gold Coast. It was the most evident, um, I guess, result of my split focus was what was happening with the gym there. And so something had to give, and that was the Gold Coast gym, unfortunately. So, uh, so that's kind of the story why we closed. And I've learned so much over the last two years and also with the process of closing the gym. And the first thing is that nothing is lost. Yes, the gym is now closed and, and that kind of chapter is over. Um, but the friendships we've made and the opportunities I've had 
um, throughout the last two years. This passion I found in, in filming and videography and photography uh, wouldn't have happened without that gym. I found the camera, I found kind of storytelling uh, at the gym, making videos for the gym. And so much work that I do now for clients has come through members of the gym as well. And we have a bunch of amazing friends now that we'll be friends with for a lifetime. Another thing I have learned though is to think longer on decisions. Do not rush so much. I'm so impatient and uh, there's so much value in just sitting on something, sitting on a decision for a bit longer, just sleeping on it for a few more nights. My good buddy Edu, when I moved over to the Gold Coast, encouraged me to just uh, give myself three months of not doing anything or making any decisions about business and just relaxing and enjoying my family and the lifestyle um, before I made any decisions. And I didn't listen to that advice. I just jumped in after a few weeks of being in the Gold Coast, signed a lease and got into it and probably rushed into that, into that business. And so it's a real lesson to, I guess, yeah, just sit on decisions a bit longer, just think on things a bit longer um, and re yeah, really evaluate whether um, something as big as starting a lease, starting a business is really what you want to be doing. And like I say, there's no regrets and nothing's lost. I was so glad to have gone through um, the last two years of, of running anti Gold Coast, but there is definitely a lesson to learn and patience and decision making there for sure. Now the most exciting thing that I've learned and taken away from this whole experience is that life can throw something unexpected at you, a new passion, a new direction, and it's okay to close doors to then follow that new passion, that new thing that you found. Uh, and for me, it's this, it's, uh, it's making videos, and that's something that I discovered and found and fell in love with, and something that I couldn't stop thinking about. I've definitely struggled feeling guilty about following a new passion like this over um, something that I've done for a long time, you know, but um, I think it's a wonderful thing about life. So unpredictable and um, it just shows that you can reinvent yourself, you can change direction and, and do so many different things. I only, only really picked up the camera 18 months ago um, and I'm now working pretty much as a full-time videographer for other companies for myself. Um, so yeah, loving it. And then one last thing that I've learned or that I've decided for myself through the whole process is that for me from now on, business will be about people, not about money. Uh, business is so rewarding when it's about the people that come along the journey with you, the people you do it with. Uh, so much more rewarding than the money that you can make and so um, I think that's a lot more important choosing the people that you want to take along with you saying no to the people that don't align with you and um, yeah and making business about people and about community and about relationship and letting the money or the finances be a byproduct of that or for both it doesn't have to be one or the other but for me it's been really important to identify the fact that going forward any business ventures it needs to be people focused and with people that I enjoy being around because life is too short to not be happy in business relationships. So that's it. That's my uh, closing end for the Gold Coast video. Uh, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. If you have not subscribed yet, I would really appreciate it if you would. I do videos on fitness, family, faith, and a bit of filming. So if any of those topics interest you, uh, please follow along. That'd be awesome. Drop me a comment if you watch this and say hi. I'd love to know who you are. On YouTube, you can see how many views you've had, but you can't see who's viewed it. So I would really appreciate that. Have a great day, guys. Much love. Bye. Thank you.